fine now, but it's awfully rough out there. How waterproof is your camera? We'll see. I don't drop my phone. Welcome back aboard Arabella. This week, the crew makes final preparations for a trip through the Cape Cod Canal and north to Newburyport, Massachusetts. So next week, we'll see Arabella under sail and happily cruising along at five knots. But there's a few more tasks to take care of first. This is Satchel. I'm working on wiring up some solar components. You can see my workspace here. The classic Lucy breaker, bus bar, disconnect switch. This is actually the one we was left over when we replaced the switch for the inverter. So I'm just doing a temporary test because it's sunny out. We want to quickly put stuff together to see what voltage we got. It's a little bit messy back here, but you can see this cable I've connected to the batteries and then run it out to my temporary charger location. So right now I've got the battery connected here and then the solar panel here. And you can see those nice and easy disconnect, disconnect end fittings. The other thing I've done is once I connected this to the battery, it powered up. And so I updated the software from my phone and then I programmed it for our battery charge voltages and set points. See over here we're we want to get some solar hooked up because we're at 80% state of charge and we're pulling 7 amps. That's the refrigerator running. Some jokes to be made there. That's the current temperature in the freezer section, which is great. So now I'm going to go up and connect the solar. It's really nice out. Better get some energy. These panels are bifacial, two-sided. I don't know if one side is better than the other. Okay. The bulk light just came on, and interestingly, I was watching the current draw. We were at negative two amps, and now we're at zero or a little positive. Nice. All right, so now I'm going to try to connect this VE direct port, which is going to allow the Victron brain to monitor the solar. Means we won't have to guess at what the charging is doing. And none of these connections ever feel like particularly robust. Look at that. Automatically recognizes it. Smart solar charger. Let's see if we can bump that number up. Okay, so I've repositioned the panels temporarily. Trying to get it in full sun and see what juice we can crank. Let me lower the angle a little bit. It's actually a pretty good spot. You can still walk by on the deck. Good angle for this latitude. Let's see the juice. Oh yeah! Full sun, 97 watts. Now we are running the fridge with no battery drain. Off that one panel. What do you think about that, boss? That works. I think we actually have some couple panels up there for real, the rigid ones, and we add some wind. I think we'll be in decent shape. I think and it's going to be great. Quickly, the lithium batteries charge off the motor. I mean, if we know that we're going to motor, we can essentially drain them down, and we know that in six or eight hours of motoring, we'll have them fully charged again. Yeah. Which is, Pretty incredible for an 800 and something amp hour battery bank. 
Sure is. The tech's getting better. <laughs> Time for my morning commute. So calm, we'll just coast right up and unload the stuff. This y'all comes in and Robin's been learning rigs. So she keeps asking me and it's like, so that means that's, uh, that means that's, uh, So this one came in and I was like, oh, she's gonna think it's a catch, but it's a y'all, this would be good. So she came in and she's like, oh, it's a catch. And I was like, no, she's like, what do you mean now? <laughs> and this is how the tradition of stupid, you know, boat gatekeeping with <laughs> names is kept <Begins>. alive. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a good one. She's gonna think it's a catch, but ha. it's a y'all. Well, get her. Right, it was uh, Christian and her husband. They sailed around us and threw bagels on us. That is so amazing. Thank you, Kristen and Rob. This is excellent. KP was preparing the main mast area for the mast boot, which on Arabella will end up being a thick waterproof tape wrapped around and sealing off the area where the mast goes through the partner on deck. The wedges in the mast collar were made a few weeks back by Keith Mitchell. The wedges hold the mast centered in its hole, and the collar will give the tape something solid to hold onto to start the wrap. KP rounded off the corners on the wedges to keep them from damaging the boot. The adhesive here is 4200, of course, just like most everything else on deck. And KP, having the good habit of never wasting glue, took a moment to make some repairs to their trusty travel mug. I had to do so much work to the mask collar because this distance from here to the housetop has to fit the cherry box that's whole, that holds, well, anything, the fuel box. This cleat is too thick and that collar was too wide. So I trimmed that down and next I will trim this down, those two down, to fit the box. So that box can be centered. Over on land, Scott and Steve got started on a mock-up for the Dodger that will give the cockpit some much-needed shade. Arabella will get a hard Dodger rather than a canvas one because it will also be supporting the rigid solar panels.
got to be careful too because the higher we go here, it means the lower the edges have to go with the boom. Dodger mock-up. So we have a place to mount some solar panels and a little bit of shade and cover over the companion way cockpit. And to do so, we need to know exactly where the boom's going to land, which means we had to hoist the mainsail. We got Satchel and Scott and Akiva on board today. What was your idea, Scott? My idea was to put temporary legs on this thing so we can exactly figure out what we want instead of trying to measure. So that way we know where we're going to be at and then we can make individual legs for it. Cause yeah, because we do have enough strips here. Right smart. There. Yeah. Joys of extra strips. Steve we're acknowledges Scott is smart. Right. Even though this is just a mock-up, Steve wanted the Dodger in place as soon as possible. And Evan, who fabricated the steel tanks and cut the tow rail brackets, is on to help, but is too busy to help right away. So this temporary shade and wind block will have to do for about six weeks until Steve can get shop time with Evan. Pretty windy, but the Bristol here seems really on top of their game, and there are some really fancy boats out here, so I'm fairly confident that these moorings are in pretty good shape. Everything up top here looked to be tip top, and uh, we're tied off real well, so not really too, too much to worry about other than enjoying the ride and making sure nothing comes loose. Our neighbor lost their tender last night, but they seem to have gotten it back somewhere and retrieved it. The things we do for stacks. Satchel always lying down on the job. 
which way is up. <laughs> I'm coming back down. What are you working on? I am working on building some shelves and some dividers for underneath the bed. Is that what it's called? Bunk. Bunk. Bunk, Bunk. berth. Yeah, either <laughs> one works. Boat language, man. Boat language. <laughs> Yeah, so this cozy little bunker berth here is where Robin and I sleep. And we've got a ton of storage underneath. But right now it's just one huge compartment, which doesn't work super, super great. So Scott's going to divide that up for us. Only being in the water for a month, Arabella had already started collecting a fair amount of muck on the hull below the waterline. How's it coming off? It's coming off really easy. You can't see anything. <laughs> I mean, partially because of the boggles, partially just because of visibility. Yeah. Like, if I scrub anything below really the surface here, yeah, it's just going to be kind of like putting suntan lotion on your back by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're just blindly. Yeah, it's super blindly. Yeah. Yeah. How's your buoyancy? Okay. I mean, I barely flow in salt water. Yeah. It's better than fresh. I sink in fresh. Well, sinking would help. <laughs> After many days working on the boat, on camera and off, the crew took the afternoon and got the fishing rods out while Satchel joined the windsurfers on his wing foil. Hey Steve, what might we catch with squid? Stripers, blues, fluke, flounder. Jobs. <laughs> nope. No, nope, no. Nope. Not so bad. I know, buddy. You can't There's though. That, John. Sad about his nighttime constitutional being over. It's time to head back to the boat. And he wants to dig in the muck. Somebody's name on the inside of the. Sure. 